Another big topic, medical marijuana. In some other states, people use marijuana for medical reasons, and they do it legally. Here in Kentucky, it's still a crime. But that doesn't mean it's not happening. Carolina Buchek is here in our studio to explain. Medical marijuana triggers emotional arguments from both sides. There are people that are very much against it. They say it's an illegal drug that should not be allowed here in the Commonwealth. But others say it's a type of medicine that works for them. And they want to be able to treat their pain and their symptoms using it without the fear of going to jail. But because it is still a crime, many people were afraid to go on camera to talk to us about it. But two men did, and they say they're willing to fight for medical marijuana. Bottle after bottle of pills. Strong pills. Some pain medication, some muscle relaxants, some vitamins, some, um, you know, blood pressure medicine, sleep aids. This is what Jaime Montalvo's day revolves around. I, I got on a pill diet, basically. I, I would wake up in the morning, take a fistful of pills. Uh, for lunch, I would have a smaller fistful, and then for dinner, I'd have a large fistful again. This now empty bag is worth thousands of dollars. Very, very strong opioids in here. And this is just some of what it takes to treat Montalvo's multiple sclerosis. If you have a chronic illness and you are a disabled patient, you are prescribed minimum three to five prescriptions. These pills are not Montalvo's. They're Chris Breesman's. This is my pain medicine. Uh, this is methadone. It's a five milligram pill. These pills help Breesman make it through the day, but they have side effects. Pills in the morning, pills in the evening, and hope for the best. His pain makes it impossible to work, so he spends his day taking things slowly. A few bites of food, some video games, and a small walk with his best friend, Louie. Nice, isn't it, Louie? Go on, go play. But this is not how Breesman imagined his life. This is from Whiteman Air Force Base. This is them telling me goodbye. He once had a thriving military career. I worked at White Whiteman Air Force Base around the B-2s. A career that was cut short. Uh, the bullet went in here. It exited out my rear. A gunman in Colorado almost killed him. And they think I died once. Years later, he's left with these pills. Just like Montalvo is left with his. Both of these men have one more thing in common. Cannabis was effective for me. I just couldn't take it anymore and tried it, and the outcome was way more than anybody expected, and I've continued since. Breesman says thanks to medical marijuana, he went from 29 prescriptions a day down to three. It all wipes away when I take a puff of, of cannabis. Montalvo says medical marijuana also helped him out. So much so that he started growing his own under this porch behind closed doors. Uh, suppressed my nausea, my vomiting. I was able to sleep a little bit better at night. My pain went down. But it all came crashing down when the bank down the street was robbed. A guy robbed a bank at the end of my street, runs in front of my home, and behind him come cops with dogs. They smell my home where I was growing right there. Montalvo was arrested and ended up losing custody of his son. I lost custody for six months and it wasn't for cultivation. It wasn't for possession. It wasn't for trafficking. It was simply testing positive for cannabis. Montalvo now fights in Frankfurt. He started Kentuckians for medicinal marijuana and lobbies to make cannabis legal. Breesman is a part of it too, fighting for what he calls his medicine. I just want to pay my taxes on this stuff. I don't want to give my money to a drug dealer. Now, staying in Frankfurt, there has been a lot of momentum in the House and Senate to get legal legalization of medical marijuana. This past legislative session, this bill moved the furthest it has ever gone here in Kentucky. It had a record number of lawmaker support, but still, it just came up too short. And the problem is, it stalls in the Senate. That is where all of these activists and advocates, that is where they are saying that is the problem, and they don't know how to get over that.